Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I'm finally getting myself to Rite Aid. I was waiting for the bonus cash challenge money to hit my account. I do want to give a shout out to Ms. Barbie Pink. She actually contacted customer service and they are having issues going on. And I believe we're only getting it on the 10th now. But we do have this awesome in-ad spend 50 get back $10 in bonus cash. And we have all new bonus cash challenges that started. We have an awesome P&G rebate going on as well. I'm super excited about today's haul. Let's get started. I'm gonna do the P&G deal. So it's spend 30, get back $10 in bonus cash. The Bounty and Charmin are included. They're on sale for $7.99. I'm gonna grab four for $31.96. Now I only have one PNG insert. I'm sticking to my not buying coupons in 2023. And I do get like the save and those things in my mailbox. So I have one PNG insert. So I have one coupon. So that'll bring my total down to $30.96. But I'm gonna get back $10 in bonus cash for spending 30. And I'm gonna hit a tier in my bonus cash challenges. So I'm gonna get back $6 for spending 30. So that's gonna make four packs, just $14.96. Suave is part of a promotion for buy one, get one half off, buy two, get back $4 in bonus cash with a limit of two. So I'm gonna grab four of these deodorants. That'll be $8.96. I'm gonna use two of these $1.50 off of two printable coupons. So these came, I believe it was December 20th. In my email, it was like a wrap up of 2022 or something like that. So check your emails for that. So that'll bring my total down to $5.96. But then I'm gonna get back $8 in bonus cash for doing the deal twice, making four of these deodorants a 204 money maker. Nature Valley is on sale this week, two for $6. No bonus cash coming back. What I'm gonna do is grab four of them for $12. So I found two of them with, um, I don't, I'm not sure what they're called, freshness peelies. So that'll take off $1.50. And I also have a 50 cent off to load to card coupon. So that would bring my total down to $10. But I have three different rebates tracking on Fetch. So I'll hit all three of those. So that'll be a total of $4.75 coming back from Fetch. But then I'm also going to submit to Ibotta. There's a $0.50 cent rebate for one of them and $0.25 cent rebates for the other three. But then I should also hit my $0.75 cent bonus for buying, I think it was like three or four different Nature Valley. So that would end up making all four of these only $3.50. Oh, and there's a thing on the coupons.com app for spend 25. It's either 25 or 20, get back $5. So this will be a nice amount tracking towards that. Okay, friends, so I apologize for how this looks, but the bounty takes up so much space. So I don't have like a really good picture for you for right now, but this is my first transaction, the four Bounty, the four Nature Valley, and the four uh, Suave. All of that is gonna total me $52.92. Now I kind of think the freshness, snick, uh, freshness stickers count against you. I'm not quite sure. So if you do know, let me know in the comments, but that's just $1.50, so I'm still good. Um, to use my 50 cent load to card as well as the $1 and 50 cent in freshness stickers and still be at that $50 that my $10 bonus cash will get back into my account. So at the 52.92, I'm gonna have the cashier scan my spend 50, get back $10 in bonus cash. Then I'm gonna have them scan the five off 25 flu coupon. Now this is the one that expires on the 7th. And then I'm also going to have them scan the 5 off 25 flu coupon that expires in March. And I'm able to use both of those threshold coupons because I'm spending over $50. So I have to reach both thresholds. But all together at the 52.92 minus two 5 off 25s 
plus another $6 in coupons, that'll bring my total down to $36.92, but I'm gonna end up getting back $28 in bonus cash, 10 for spending 50, 10 for spending 30 on the bounty, and eight for the suave. But then I'll submit to Fetch for $4.75 back on the Nature Valley, to Ibotta for $2 back, I'll hit the $6 bonus cash challenge for the bounty. And I'm also going to submit to the coupons.com app for 50 cents back. So that's going to make this transaction over a $4 money maker. So I did my first transaction and I took it out to the car because of the bounty taking up so much space. But this printed out of the Catalina machine on my first transaction and it's for General Mills. So I ended up getting back two dollar an extra two dollars on the general mills so that's amazing so now i'm working on a second card so i'm gonna grab some of these febreze they're on sale for 329 and they're included in the spend 30 get back ten dollars in bonus cash so i'm going to use one of these buy one get one free coupons we got in the january p and g i'm also going to grab three of these Charmin on sale for $7.99 and I have one $1 coupon from the January p and I'm also going to do the Suave deal on this card as well. So I'm going to grab two of the shampoos priced at $2.99 buy one get one half off and then two of the deodorants at the buy one get one half off and I'm going to use another two of those $1.50 off of two Suave coupons getting back that $8 in bonus cash making these a $2 money maker as well. I'm also going to add this tide. So this is included in the PNG deal for spend 30, get back 10. I am going to use a $3 printable from the PNG good website. Now this puts me well over like, I think $40 for this PNG. And I'm going to tell you why I'm doing this in a second. Okay. So with my three Charmin and my two Febreze, that puts me at the $30.55 needed for that spend 30, get back $10 in bonus cash. So I'm adding in the Tide. Now I do have a bonus cash challenge, but it's like, I think I have to spend, there's only one tier and it's like $52. So either way, the Tide will be tracking anyway. But we have this awesome P&G rebate on the pggoodeveryday.com website under their rebate section. But it's always after coupons. So with using the 5 off 25s, those can attach to anything. So I'm going to have to look at my receipts to see if between my first transaction with the Bounty and my second transaction with the Charmin, Depending what those $5 attaches to, will I have enough to submit for a $15 gift card for spending $50 on select P&G products? Now, Tide is not included this time. So if you remember, I did do the one for um, the P&G when it was Tide and there was like a Tide and Gain one. And I had to check to make sure what my threshold coupons were attaching to when I submitted it. So we're just gonna have to see how this goes. But as this sits right now, this is gonna total me $52.45. I'm gonna have the cashier scan the spend 50, get back $10 in bonus cash in Ad Booster. Then I'm gonna have her scan the five off 25 that expires on the 7th as well as the five off 25 that expires in March. But then I also have $10 and 29 cents in coupons. So that should bring my total down to 32.16, but I'll get back $28 in bonus cash, 10 for spending 50, 10 for the P&G deal, and eight for the Yee Suave. Then that's gonna end up making this just 16 cents, but depending where those five off 25s fall, if I get back the $15 gift card from P&G, that would end up making this transaction a $14.84 moneymaker. All right, so here we are with today's awesome Rite Aid haul. Holy moly. So um, the only coupon issue I had was the Charmin. The Charmin did beep and my 50 cent load to card for the Nature Valley did not come off. 
Um, other than that, all of my other coupons worked fine. The Tide, all the Suave coupons, the Febreze, and the Bounty worked just fine. So, um, but yay for that, that $2 Catalina. So since my... Charmin beeped on my second transaction because I was over $52. Um, and that Charmin beeped, then I was able to use that that Catalina that printed out because I believe those count against you for using threshold coupons. So since I was still above over $52, I just used that instead. So anyway, so my first transaction was the bounty. Okay, so let me get this. So here's one of the bounties, the other one here, here's another one, and here, look, the what the 5 off 25 attached to that one, and then here's another one with the $1 coupon and the 5 off 25 attached to that one also. Here's my Suave deodorant my, with my $1.50 coupons, and then here's all three of those Nature Valley. So these, um, those scan perfectly fine. My subtotal was $37.42 and I did get back $28 in bonus cash. And I'm gonna get back $6 in a bonus cash challenge for the bounty. I did get back $2 from Ibotta for the Nature Valley. I'm gonna get back 50 cents from coupons.com for the Nature Valley. And I ended up getting back, um, $5.20 from Fetch, and then that $2 Catalina that printed. So that ends up, ended up making my first transaction a $6.28 moneymaker. So that's amazing. So my second transaction, um, here's the Charmin. Here's another Charmin. There's my five off 25. There's another Charmin with the five off 25. Here's the Tide and then my $3 coupon, and then my Febreze. Um, I believe that's the $3 coupon. Yeah, I didn't even see that there. And then um, my two Suave, and then my other two Suave, those coupons scan no problem. Here's that $2 Catalina, it did scan fine. So my subtotal was $31.16, but I counted that as a reward earned in my first transaction, so I, I'm counting it as spent. So technically, I spent $33.16. I got back $28 on this transaction as well, and I'm going to get back um, $4 for the Charmin. So that makes my second transaction a cost of $1.16. So I didn't hit enough to get that PNG um, gift card, the Visa card, but I do have $34.93 tracking towards that, which is awesome. So I might, uh, it's highly likely I'm gonna do another haul tomorrow. Um, but as this sits right now with no gift card, this is still a $5.12 moneymaker. So I will take it, but it's, it's highly likely I, I will go tomorrow. So um, yeah, that is what I have for you today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'm going to see you in my next video. And until then, stay in coupon mode. Bye, friends.